Check out suchatune.co.uk. Them men are sold, no need to pitch this. Lay seal the fold already on the wish list. And I can hear them talking like they're trying to break this. Here's my ass. Yes, yes. So, um, I first um, landed on the London UK music scene when I worked with Tinchy Strider. And I worked on his first album. Uh, after that, I co wrote How We Roll with. Uh, with Elle Marshall and uh, did the duet with Louis Essien and I have been working on my EP Head Chef which drops on the 8th of October. Too many, 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 too many cooks in the kitchen. What's your favourite way to create music at the moment? My favourite way is to start from scratch organically and um, it could be just starting with a bass line um, or drums and then just vibe, that's how I used to make music when I was in a band. Like we'd just be jamming and then something would come out of it. Is there anywhere, like anywhere in particular where you know you can always go to and you'll be able to sit down and like make whatever music you want? Yeah, I mean I have like, um, a lot of my friends are producers so um, I just hit them up and say, you know I've got an idea I want to put down and they're always open to, to let me come in and you know, just drop a few ideas. Sick. Um... Yeah, your second single, Too Many Cooks, is inspired by the phrase, Too Many Cooks Spoil the Brew, right? Yeah, spoil um, the broth. Spoil the broth, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about where you were in your life when you wrote that. Um, I was signed um, with a major label, and I just felt like um, there were a lot of opinions telling me what they think I should be doing musically. And um, so the, the concept, Too Many Cooks, was basically me just um, regaining my creative control being the head chef, which is the name of the, the EP. So it's about um, having a vision and driving that vision forward and just having conviction with it. That's where it all comes That's down cool. to. That's cool. And do you cook? I do. What do you like to cook? Um, I like to cook quite Mediterranean foods. I haven't really got the hang of um, cooking soul food just yet, but I like cooking, you know, fish and doing salads. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Um, the video for Too Many Cooks is very uh, vibrant and colourful because mm -hmm. it was shot where your roots are from in Antigua. Can you describe the video concept to us? Yes, um, the video concept, I mean we wanted something to have, we wanted the video to have a narrative um, and we wanted it to be fun and um, bright and bold and so when we had the opportunity to to film in Antigua we wanted to um, set up like a shack which is Tanya Lacey's hotspot and um, and the source is kind of like a metaphor for my music like it's not for everybody but it's it's my it's my source and and I'm cooking it in my kitchen aka the studio so yeah that's the that's the whole idea behind the video so you're playing at Notting Hill Carnival on my day yeah are you gonna open your own Tanya Lacey's hotspot there I should do actually, I should capitalise. You should. <laughs> so I reckon I'd go. I'd yeah. ask you to get me a spot there. Yeah. That hot sauce. Yeah, big nice. fan. Um, so that was really fun to film then, that video. Yeah, it was. It was amazing. It was a long day um, in the scorching sun, but it was amazing. We, we got what we needed. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Cool. So what does Notting Hill Carnival mean to you? Like, have you ever been? or? Yeah, I love Notting Hill Carnival. I love... Um, I love how mad it is, like I love all the whistles of the horns, how everyone just sh shocks out in the street and just doesn't care, like you know, they're just dancing and enjoying the music and that's what Carnival is supposed to be about, it's celebrating, celebrating music and culture and bringing people together, so I love knowing you. Cool. Um, so when you co-wrote That's How We Roll, you originally intended it as a duet with Al Marshall. Uh, how did Louis's voice and persona change the deliverance of the track? Um, I think he definitely made it more of his own. Um, he tweaked a few lyrics just to make it feel more personal to him and more identifiable to him, but more relatable. Um, um, but I think he did a really good job. I think the track sounds great with him on it, and you know he did his thing. Cool. Uh, your track "Greatness" with Kano is quite inspiring. What or who would you say are your main inspirations, not only musically but in life? My main inspirations are my parents, hands down. They are cool really um, supportive and just really strong kind people and you know I wouldn't be here without them so they're definitely my inspirations
uh, what can we expect from the upcoming Head Chef EP? You can expect some Caribbean flavour, um, a little bit of old school hip hop added in the mix, um, some soulful vibes and just positivity, uplifting tracks, that's what it's about for me. Uh, so you've shown the soulfulness in your music with tracks like Letter to My Ex, but there's also a loud and quite a gritty side to you that comes across when you're rapping. How does this transition happen so naturally to you? Um, I think that we all have different sides of us as, as people, and I think that's musically, um, as an artist, I have different sides of me that, that come out and fit the track. You know, there might be a track that I'm creating and I feel like it, it would be better if I if I sang rapped on it or if I rapped on it or sung on it. So it, it's very intuitive for me. Like making music is um, intuitive. I just go with how I feel. Cool. Um, what do you think of the UK music scene and who do you think can contend on an international scale at the moment? Hmm. I think the UK music scene is buzzing. I think it's um, it's in a healthy place. I think we all. Most of the people who are doing music right now have the opportunity to to um, expand and cross over because um, I think the U US more than more than ever are paying more attention to what we're bringing to the table. So I think it's it's anyone's game really. It's just about hard work and um, determination. Um, what does the future hold for you over the next few years? And after the EP, when can we expect the debut album? Okay, so the future for me. It uh, involves definitely creating more music, um, performing more, connecting more with um, with fans, and um, and collaborating more. Um, I definitely want to try different areas, uh, like um, working in uh, visual media as well as music. I'm very interested in a lot of creative as avenues, so I definitely want to explore those. Um, and the debut album will definitely be out next year. I haven't got an exact date, but I think maybe mid next year, it's, pr it's practically done. And um, what's the best piece of advice that you could share for other upcoming musicians? Uh, the best piece of advice, uh, don't rush what you're doing and stay true to what you do best, even if it doesn't seem popular at the time. Um, we all have our own identity and our own lanes musically as artists. So when you try and step into another lane just because it's hot right now, it, it does you no favors. So do what you do, do what feels natural to you, be true to you and have fun. Thank you. <laughs>